Here's part four of our conversation with Mike Levine of Triumph. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Well, you guys were um, touring with a lot of people in, in the U.S., touring with a lot of folks. Was there ever a time, because that, 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 that young rock and roller is still in you, was there ever a time where you went backstage or someplace, went, I can't believe I'm in the same room with this guy? Did you get starstruck ever? Well, yeah, you know, we had a lot of great bands as opening acts. It was amazing. You know, that bad company. You know, Paul Rogers wasn't in the band, but, you know, that Simon Kirk was playing drums. And those, and those guys were, were uh, uh, band. I think we did maybe 30, 35 shows with them. And it was funny because they were kind of standoffish at first, right? So, and we're, I, I, I that was Thunder 7 tour. I can't remember which tour it was, but. Uh, Anyway, we were playing Market Square Arena in, in, in Indianapolis, you know, totally sold and set the house record for, for attendance. They sold, we sold behind the stage, sold every seat. And uh, the crowd was, you know, our crowd. So bad company comes out and they're standing there like, um, you know, the, the Mount Rushmore, you know, just stayed and just not moving at all. <laughs> and then we come out, the crowd goes, hey, we're all running all over the place. Rick's doing his thing. And, and the guys at Bad Company, we hadn't even met them yet. So we're sitting there watching, back, back, you know, side stage. And uh, later that night after the show, they, they came over and said, hello, you know, thanks for having us on the tour, blah, 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 blah. The next night, they started moving around a little bit. <laughs> the night after that, they started to get more animated. And finally, they were like, they were like competing with us, you know, for, for audience space, which was great because it made it better for the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know they had tons of stage room. Made sure all that we always respected any support bands. You know, you got a lot of lights, you got all the sound, you got a lot of stage room, and mm -hmm. uh, so they took advantage of it. And it was fun. I remember they, uh, about halfway through the tour, they they came in the dressing room with a big cake <laughs> with sparklers on it. And said, "Thank you guys. This has been great so far." You know, uh, but yeah, those guys, the guys at Molly Hatchet, were a piece of pieces of work when <laughs> they played with us. Do they party uh, as much as people think they do? Do they what? Do they party as much as people think they do? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, they were uh, it, 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 an interesting group. <laughs> You're the good old Southern boys. Well, they lost all their lead singers one after another. They, 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 it, it's yeah. strange. I mean, it's just people say, oh, they're I don't believe in that kind of stuff, but I'm going, it's a coincidence. The way it goes. It's, it's also the rock and roll. Lifestyle. Brad K says, same question I ask all these guys. Why did what did you do for a living when you were not in Triumph? What what like? Oh God. Well, um, before Triumph, I was uh, uh, I was doing commercials, writing and producing jingles. Did that before that? I was worked at a, uh, with a record company, the record label, small small independent label from Toronto, but we had a distribution in the States. So I got to travel to New York as 21 year old and meet incredible people, incredible Libra and Stoller. Uh, you know, it's a Freddie Beanstalk, uh, Teddy Randazzo, uh, Brooks Arthur, one of the greatest engineers of all time. You know, I had to meet all these people and talk to them. It was fabulous. What was it like going into the studio without Rick for that last album? What, what was the... It was it was weird, you know. It's it, it was all strange, but you know, had it to do over again, probably we wouldn't have used the name Triumph because it really wasn't representative of. Uh, but we never really thought about it, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. But you know, afterwards, it wasn't Triumph, you know. But there was Mike Rick and Gilbert Triumph, you know. Period. 